right, so we just finished up the last scrimmage of camp. Three weeks of camp, just about at this point, and we're just a couple days from classes starting. What, um, what's the goal of this afternoon scrimmage? What were you looking for beforehand? We just wanted to make sure we get our starters the reps they needed, and then we, we needed to mix and match, see what the substitutions are going to look like. You know, God forbid there's an injury somewhere. Get some work on the kicking game live. Uh, we got a lot of that good work in there today to kick off return, the punt, the punt rush. Uh, we did the field goals live, so it was a good good opportunity to do those things today. You know, just some, put some of, the, some of the polish on all the things we've been working on the last three weeks. And, and I think both both sides played pretty well. You know, it's always tough when you're playing against each other for so long, but I think both defense came up big at times, and I think the offense made some big plays. What happens starting tomorrow? You, you begin preparation for Lafayette. Yeah. Over this weekend, but tomorrow, what's, what happens tomorrow? All right, we're going to watch this tape. We're going to try to get better, you know, especially with the younger guys and spend more time with them than we normally would, and then uh, move on to special teams. All, tomorrow's practice is all corrections and special teams, and you know, we'll do some running and those types of things just to stay in shape. And then they got a day, almost two days um, of rest, and to get ready for game week prep for Lafayette. Give me a guy or two, maybe on each side of the ball that you saw step up here this afternoon. Uh, both sides of the ball. Well, Tanner Kingsley played played exceptionally well. I thought he played really well on offense, and uh, you know it was great to see Nasir Williams make some plays in the secondary. You know he's a guy that we're counting on as a redshirt freshman to go out and make some plays, and it's good to see him out there making plays. And James Dumas, you know he's a redshirt defensive lineman for us, and he's got all the potential in the world to be a great one. And it's good to see him cut it loose out there today. Guys will be in their real rooms. Uh, they'll start classes, they'll have freshman orientation and some distractions and more people on campus. What do they have to do to focus to get ready for next Friday? Well, you know, I think the focus is in the preparation. You know, if they, as long as they're focused when it's time for us to get on the field, I think they'll be fine. You know, I think with our great academic staff, they got these guys ready to go. Classes, we don't have anything to worry about there. So, you know, the first day is always a little bit tough. And after that, we'll be smooth sailing. I know it seems like a long camp, you know, when you look day to day to day. But when you look back, do you think, wow, it's been three weeks already and we're going to play in just about seven days? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's incredible how fast it goes. And, uh, not quite as fast for me, but some of the seniors were saying yesterday how fast it went. And, you know, they're ready almost in game week and, you know, they need to cherish each and every moment. And I tell them you have to, you know, because it goes really, really fast. What do you look for next week from these guys to, to focus and get ready for Lafayette? Yeah, just getting ready for Lafayette's looks. You know, we, we, we've been going against each other for so long. It's just a matter of seeing what they're doing and doing our plays against them on both sides. And just crisping up a little bit this week. Get healthy, crisp up, and get ready for game day on September 2nd. All right, Coach, thank you for your time, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks.